Hey guys, got another After Effects tutorial for you, and today I'm going to be showing you how to do cloning, kind of more advanced cloning, but not using green screens. So, uh, I'm going to show you um, the bit of footage that I'll be working with. So this is this is my test that I did for cloning, and hopefully that's what we're going to be creating. Now, as you can see, um, my clone punches my other clone in the face there, and. There is a couple of things going on, there is a sound effect and there is a bit of a camera shake that I put in there. So, let's dive straight into the tutorial head first, shall we? So, um, I've got my uh, I've got my two bits of footage here. Um, I've got one here of me of me punching thin air like this. And I've got, um, I also have one of me uh, just being hit in the face, so like this. Like that. So, um, you're gonna have to uh, um, keep use a tripod for your camera because um, you have to be it has to be perfectly still. Um, but yeah, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag um, the footage with the punch, um, with me pun with me doing the punch, um, out into a new composition. So yeah, drag it onto the new drag it onto the comp new comp button there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna find a place in the timeline where um, well, I just begin to start punching, so around here. And I'm going to get the mask, the pen tool up here, and I'm going to draw a mask around, um, just just a basic mask around the, um, uh, around around this half of the person. So I'm going to draw one here, da, 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 da. and I'm just going to, I need to do it kind of, because I've got the fist coming through, I need to do a few points in here. So that'll do nicely, and I'll just leave it off as that. And I'm going to go back onto my pointer tool or V, and I'm going to um, just move this down a bit here. And what I'm going to do is I am going to hit the feather button, so F, and I'm going to give it a mask feather of 30. Yes, that's looking nice. So. Rotoscoping is involved in this sadly, so what I'm going to have to do is I'm going to have to hit No, I'm going to have to hit M on my keyboard to bring up the mask path Hit the keyframe there And I'm going to have to go frame by frame and Adjust the points to fit around my hand there, which is quite sad so uh, I'm not going to do the, full, the whole thing, I'm just going to do a bit just to show you what it's like um, You need to do it, um, don't do the uh, points exactly around your hands. You need to do them in into your arm a bit because of that feather there. Um, but yeah, it, it's, it's up to you. So yeah, so just frame by frame, going and doing that. But so once you've done that, you should have something that looks like this. So if I just render that out. So if you look at this slowly, you can just see that I have obviously rotoscoped it there and the next thing I want to do is I want to drag I'm just going to delete this uh, composition here uh, yes I'm sure so I'm left with this one here now what I'm going to do is I'm going to get this composition I'm going to drag it onto a new composition um, and I'm going to get the bit of footage um, at the back and I'm going to drag that underneath that composition so as you can see it's not lined up properly so I just punch me and nothing happens there, that looks quite stupid. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to the point where my fist where my fist first connects with my face there and I'm gonna align it up so just where my face begins to get a bit ugly there. So now if we look at that. Yep, yeah, that's looking good actually. So the last thing I wanna do is um, I'm going to pre-compose th these two elements here by getting the composition, so punch L2, punch up to up here, I'm going to drag them into a new composition, and I'm going to add a bit of a camera shake. So, I'm going to um, find the place in the composition where I want the shake to start. In this case, it's just as my, just before my fist connects with my face. I'm going to hit P for the position, I'm going to set a keyframe, then I'm going to move it forward a few frames using page up and page down and I'm going to go to where I want my camera shake to finish which is just around there and I'm going to hit the keyframe button 
just there. So now I have two little diamonds to represent the keyframes. I'm going to select them both now and I'm going to go into window and go into the wiggler. Now I already had it up there so it's disappeared so if window the wiggler I've got it up again. So yeah making sure I have these two keyframes selected I'm going to go into this window here and I'm going to hit noise type jagged and I'm going to make sure it's all independently uh, spatial path, whatever that means, and for frequency, I'm going to go up to about 12, and for the magnitude, probably about 10, and I'm going to hit apply. Now, what's that, what that's done is it has shaken the camera, but what you can see is you can see all the black lines around the edges. Now, what we do to get rid of that um, is we go into this is what Andrew Kramer does. Um, I learned from his tutorial, but oh well. I'm going to go into effect stylize motion tile and I'm going to hit mirror edges I'm going to put the output height I'm going to drag that out and the output width I'm going to drag that out as well so now as you can see we've got a nice camera shake and, and all the black lines are gone uh, one last thing we, one last finishing touch we can do is we can turn the motion blur on um, so just to give it a bit more realism and then render it out and it's done oh yeah and you can add a sound effect in as well but that's pretty much it thanks for watching the tutorial goodbye take care and be creative with your filmmaking guys